Hi amazing people, welcome to Christianity Over Islam channel with Sam Shimon. This is a debate channel featuring Sam Shimon and on today's episode, Sam is in an intense debate with a Muslim who goes silent after seeing the obvious Quran error. Let's watch this video to find out more truth. Are you ready Mohammed? Yes. Okay, so you thought you know more than this guy, so don't start whining and acting like a victim. Does Islam allow adoption, yes or no? Yeah, it allows adoption. You're lying. Chapter 33, verses 4 to 5 says... No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. So, adoption is haram. Like, it if, I adopt a, it, if I adopt a child... You can. I should, I, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Just let me tell you. I can take care of the child, but I have to tell That's the child... That's not what I'm asking you. I'm not his parent. I'm not his parent. Good. If, so, listen to what you said. You just contradict yourself. Take it no, easy. You're taking their lineage away. You want me to get you out you're of here? taking their lineage away. Can't adopt him as a son that means you can't adopt. i can act as a guardian i can act as a guardian i didn't ask you to be a guardian let me repeat again i know you're only like your prophet and you adopt a child in islam uh no you okay so why did you lie to me what why did you lie to me so you admit you can't adopt children see let's cut to the chase you can't adopt children right no you okay, act now, as a guardian okay I know. When that child reaches past puberty and you have daughters, can he stay in your house? Um, no, because... Say it again. Say it again. No. See, if you're honest, I'll be patient with you like that other man. If you're going to be like this other dog, Solomon, I'm going to get you out of here. I want no. honest people. You're being honest. So far. Okay, so let's repeat. So though you can take a child and be a guardian, you can't adopt that child and make that child your son or daughter, correct? Yeah. And when the child is now pubescent, no longer prepubescent, they've reached puberty. If you have daughters, that male child can't stay in your house, right? Yes. Oh, good. So why did we waste five minutes for you to finally admit, yeah, there is no adoption. Okay, so we agree there's no adoption. Good. That's it. Now, I want to ask you the question. Because you're acting tough in the comment section. Because, oh, this guy doesn't know. So let's see if you know more. Let's see. Uh, okay, maybe you know. So then when Allah told Muhammad, to take Zayed's wife after he divorced her so that you can be an example that other people can do likewise if their adopted sons divorce their women. Didn't Allah know he was going to adopt, uh, abolish adoption soon right after that? Yes or no? Yeah, this argument has been refuted quite often. Refute it? I'm waiting. Don't tell me by whoever. You refute it. No, I, I watched the video on this. Okay, so... Did Allah know that when he told Muhammad, take Zayed's divorced wife? Because you'll be an example that other people can take the divorced wives of their adopted sons. Meaning, see, look, my adopted son divorced Zainab. I'm going to marry her. Show you it's halal for you, man, to marry the divorced woman of your adopted children. But he knew that he's going to abolish adoption, right? Right after that? Yes. So what kind of example is Muhammad setting when there'll be no more adoption? And he's the only man who took his adopted son's wife because after that, adoption was abolished. So then why did he take her as his wife? And what kind of example is he setting when there'll be no more adoption? Because she was a widow. Who will take care what of her? What widow? She was married to Zayed ibn Haditha. Here, you read the yeah, he died. He died. No, he didn't. He was still... as. Oh, my. No, he died. Okay, if I read to you the Hadith, are you going to apologize to me for pretending to know what you're talking about? Okay, wait, just, let me just check. Yeah, go check, please. Don't embarrass yourself. He was alive, and he told your prophet. It's in the ayah right here, 33, 37. You don't even go anywhere. Let me just put the ayah. And remember when you said to him, Zayd ibn Haritha, the freed slave of the prophet, on whom Allah has bestowed his grace, and you have done favor, keep your wife to yourself. What do you mean he died? The man is alive. He's saying, I'm going to divorce my wife. There's no keeper. Where'd you get he died? Wait a second. I have slow internet. Okay, go ahead. I'll wait for you. So, can we get to the question again? Alright guys, this is the part where this video gets more interesting. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please do so and hit the notification button to be notified each time we post a new video. Let's get back to this video to get more details. No? Mohammed, are you there or not? If you're not ready, man, I'll move on to someone else. So, are you there, Mohammed, or you leave? Oh, I think you went to Chef Google. Do you want me to go to the next caller? You want to come back? 
guy's silent. Can you hear me? Or I'll put I'll put you in the back. Let me know when you're back. Mohammed, what happened? You still there? Let's see. Mohammed, you yeah, hear me? There, there. What happened? Purpose to you? of their okay. the purpose of their marriage was to show that uh, the adopted did not deserve the same treatment as they, they have to make. They have to uh, maintain their separate lineage. And mind you, that the prophet introduced uh, Zainab to Zainab, say right? and uh, yes, the prophet had seen her without Zainab many times. It was, she was the prophet's Buddy, cousin. Did you hear what my objection was? Because you went on Sheikh Google, you saw I was right. Because now you changed your answer, which is good. So you admit Zaid was still alive, right? Yeah, that's that's my mistake. Oh, sorry. Okay, that's fine. Now let's see if you remember what my objection was. What was my objection? What? What was my objection? Because you're not answering my objection. You thought you did. What your was my your objection? objection was why did the prophet marry his uh, daughter-in-law? No. What Let me it? repeat it again. Because now that you found out I was right, you're going to have to search it. If Allah knew that he's going to abolish adoption shortly thereafter, because Allah knows everything. Hmm. Why did Allah have Muhammad marry her to be an example? Because the ayah says... Muhammad did this so that other people could also marry the divorced women of the adopted sons. Here, the last part of the ayat's on the screen. Let me put a full screen. Unmute yourself because we can hear the background and unmute yourself when you want to answer. We gave her to you in marriage so that in the future there may be no difficulty to the believers in respect of the marriage of the wives of their adopted sons when the latter have no desire to keep them, i.e. they divorce them. So you understand now why Muhammad did this according to the ayah, not the commentators? You will yeah. marry this woman so you can be an example that other men can marry the divorce wives of their adopted sons. You see that, right? Yes. But Allah then abolished adoption. No one had any more adopted sons. How did Muhammad set an example for people who won't have any more adopted children? Yeah, so the he actually adopted him way before he became a prophet i know the history man i'm not asking that i'm talking about here when he took his adopted son's wife he says you're doing this so the people can do the same with their adopted son's divorced wives but then he abolished adoption and no one had any more adopted children so how is this an example for anyone to follow how is this going to be an example for anyone to follow when right after this no more adoption. You don't have any more adopted sons. So you can't marry adopted sons. Why? Because you have no more adopted children. But wait, Allah, didn't you say that's why Muhammad's going to do it? He's going to take his adopted son's divorced wife so that other men can do the same when their adopted sons divorce their wives? Yeah, but now I abolish adoption. So then why did you have Muhammad marry his adopted son's divorced wife to set an example when you're going to abolish adoption? So it's an example for no one. Like I said, the purpose of their marriage was to show that the adopted should be treated differently. The adopted what? The adopted should be treated differently. They have to maintain the separate There lineage. is no adoption after this. So how are you going to treat anyone anyway? Then you're going to abolish adoption. So what was the point of the marriage? It was to show that. Show what? Allah knew he's going to abolish adoption. And you were making fun of that man? Oh, yeah, he doesn't know much, as if you knew more. When did I make fun of him? Uh, in the private chat, I was looking at when Suleiman said, oh, this guy doesn't know much. You go, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just reading your comments. I uh, know. I said he was losing faith. Because the, uh, your friend said he doesn't have much knowledge. You agree? Yeah, and then I, said, what, I meant was he should, what I meant was he should research your claims. After. Okay, so then why are you answering when you haven't researched my claims? Because when I caught you, you went and had to research it. So then why are you doing the very thing you condemn that man for doing? All right, welcome back, guys. I believe you were able to learn something from watching this video. Let us know what you have learned and let us know how this video has educated you. And if you are here to share our videos, please do so. And also do well to subscribe, hit the notification button to be notified each time we post new videos like this. From the main highlight from the video, each time Sam asks a question, I always say that be very careful and very calculative as it might be a trap because Sam does not ask you question just for asking sake or because he wants to get answer from you. He always asks 
driving to a point and that point is a trap that you cannot recover from sam asked him if adoption is allowed in islam and the young man horribly said yes knowing fully well that it was a trap then he now retracted and then later said no that it is not allowed in islam where actually it is not possible in islam to adopt because muhammad abolished adoption when he was lost in after his adopted son's wife then muhammad went ahead to marry that his adopted son's wife and when people started mocking him seriously and making mockery of him that he went ahead to marry his adopted son's wife and for him now to give them a new perspective about himself he now told them that Allah has instructed him to abolish adoption and adoption was abolished instantly when Muhammad made that claim I believe that was so much for a man that is supposed to be an example for Muslims for all time and all season but you can see that he does what he likes and at the end he will drag his Allah into it that his Allah has instructed him to do it when actually he was the one that prompted himself into doing it and then the young man kept embarrassing himself and his Muhammad he even went ahead to check Google for answers the question Sam was asking him was so much that he didn't even have the answer to those questions that he had to go to Google to Google to get those answer and this has proved my point over time where i always say that many of these muslim guys they don't have a single clue or they don't have much knowledge about their religion so when you see them coming out to debate like that it is something that either their imam had told them or something they watch online or maybe they watch a video clip of a muslim asking a, asking a christian a question and when that ignorant christian is unable to answer that question they believe that every christian they will meet don't have answer to that question that is why you would always see them asking that question and each time they come online to debate Sam Shaman and you always see that Sam always embarrasses them and I believe that was that also proved my point that they don't have the needed knowledge they don't have the adequate knowledge and many of them will not last in Islam if they are truly exposed to the truth if they were able to read half of the truth in, in the Quran, many of them will not last one month in Islam. Guys, let us know what you think about this amazing debate about this video in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification button to be notified each time we post new videos. Thank you for watching this video and see you in our next one.